and good morning. This is Steve Velocity here. Uh, today is Saturday, my project day, and I've decided to try to finish my garage. So the project for today are going to be my backboard for my dartboard, which is going to go on the back wall of my shop. And then I'm going to build wood shelves four foot wide by approximately 18 inches so that I can store all my pallet lumber and the lumber that I that I get that's you know I'm gonna use for my projects um, and the third thing is my four foot stationary workbench so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break up those into three different videos so the first video is for my dartboard now I'm gonna go really really simple and it's really kind of experimental because I want to see what I can do with chalkboard paint and particle board. Don't know if it's going to work out, but we'll see. So let me show you what I got. Okay, right now, there's my piece of particle board. And uh, I'm going to use the smooth side. And all I'm going to do is take 80 grit with a belt sander and... Then I'm going to go ahead and soften it up a little bit and do the edges and corners with my palm sander. And there's the chalkboard paint. And then there's my dartboard. I could go fancy and build a box, but honestly, I don't play that much. It's mainly there sort of as a visual as you're walking into the garage. And maybe like if I'm doing stuff on the weekends, I can, um, you know, instead of doing computers or construction, maybe I'll just want to go in there and just throw darts for a couple hours and you know just take the day off of work off that kind of thing so all right well let's get busy okay i want you guys to go ahead and take note you see those uh the edges on this workstation i just use a simple spring clamp and it holds the wood pretty good another great use for those those edges and remember when sanding to wear your dust mask. The fine dust of all this plywood could, uh, it's got all sorts of stuff probably known to the state of California that cause cancer. You ever wonder why they choose California instead of the rest of the nation? Hmm, food for thought.
and that's all she wrote. Real simple project. All right, that took less than four minutes. sandpaper malfunction. Alrighty, so I'm going with 220 grit for the uh, top I just sanded and then I'm going to go ahead and use this also on the edges and corners. <laughs> there okay so if some of you are wondering why I'm doing such a simple project um, basically I know anybody could do this this is like totally basic things that I'm doing but I'm also trying to learn how to um, film and edit the work that I'm doing and so I'm developing skill in this as well as the woodworking which I'm you know still growing in and that's why I'm choosing to do this because I need to learn how to do things like speed up video, that kind of thing. Um, how to, you know, present what I'm doing. And so any of your feedback would be good. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this off. 220 grit is uh, what the can of chalkboard paint recommends for your surface. Clean it off and I'll get started to paint. Okay guys, you know, I wanted to come and show you this real quick. You know particle board. 
there's really no grain it's just pieced together uh, little bits and pieces going every direction so what I noticed here was the particle board inherently is very rough but when you actually sand it I mean it is really almost like baby butt smooth I mean we're talking this would be excellent for a painted surface so depending on, on how the chalkboard paint goes on this actually might work so just thought I'd like let you see there the original piece was pretty rough all right let's get to painting okay you two peoples the project is done and I'm gonna throw a couple darts okay they say according to the internet um, the height of the dartboard regulation should be uh, five feet eight inches from the floor to the center right here to the bullseye and then regulation length should be seven foot nine and a quarter inches so I got my tape on the floor and so I already know that it's gonna work Okay, I already know it's going to work. Now I just have to go buy some chalk. Unfortunately, I just don't have chalk laying around. So, ooh, got 25. Didn't get bullseye. 45. So I'm really rusty. I used to play this in England when I was stationed over there in the early 80s. So, nothing fancy, but just for something to me, come home and blow some steam off. Yeah, at the end of a hard day or maybe play some darts got a lot of practice to do i am like really rough around the edges on it so anyway that's my dartboard and to my next project eventually i'll get some chalk in and i can uh show you how well it works let me get a real quick up close view so you can see now the particle board real real rough but i kind of like it fits in the garage pretty good nothing fancy I mean I guess I could put some trim around it but let's show you the view here as you come into the garage so coming in the first focal point is that once everything's cleaned up you'll see the shelves and everything but you'll come back and you'll see that dartboard so it looks a lot better up there than it did in the old Frankenstein shelf I have sitting up there or that was sitting up there so just something to have a little fun with and use some of the spare wood I have laying around. Well, thanks for looking, and I'll see you on my next video.